Effective April 1st, 2021, our BTC and ETH rates and tiers for BlockFi interest accounts are changing. Our new Bitcoin rates earn 6% APY on 0 to 1 Bitcoin, earn 2% APY on 1 to 20 Bitcoin, and earn 0.5% APY on 20 Bitcoin and above. BlockFi, it was fun while it lasted, but I think it's time for me to take my talents elsewhere. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to put it all together and take you up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe, make sure to also smash that like button and turn on the notification bell. So back in the beginning of the year, we started on this uh, project with BlockFi where I deposited a little bit to test it out. And then after that, I ended depositing a full Bitcoin to test it out for a full month and then this month i was going to deposit a second bitcoin to really get the ball rolling on that but lo and behold blockfi announced this week that as of april 1st 2021 which is the day i'm dropping this video they're making they're adjusting the interest rates that they're paying they've gone from a two-tier system to a three-tier system so tier one you can hold up to one full Bitcoin to receive a 6% return on that. Tier two, you can hold up to 20 Bitcoin from one to 20, and you will only receive a 2% on that. And then tier three, 20 and above, you receive 0.5%, which is basically the same thing that banks are paying you to keep it in a savings account. They're doing the same thing with uh, Ethereum. With Ethereum, tier one is zero to 100 Ethereum. Um, you can get 5.25. Tier two is 100 to 1,000. You get 2%. And tier three, 1,000 and above, same as a bank, 0.5%. So we are going to go ahead and take our talent elsewhere after this month, after the end of March. We will no longer be dropping a second Bitcoin um, in here. We are, however, going to leave one bitcoin in here but we're going to remove the rest of our bitcoin and take it somewhere else so let's go ahead and take a look at what we did with our account this month in the month of march overall so let's look at what we have so you can see that overall we accrued in interest 266 dollars this month remember on the last video that we did at the beginning of the month if you look at it here three weeks ago uh we were talking about uh making 250 a month passively so we actually did more than 250 a month and the month is not even over yet we're currently sitting at 266 dollars and 16 cents for the month and we still have one two three four five days left so we might potentially hit uh 300 on the month uh in our account on a block five and this is all of course passively we haven't done anything at all other than just hold our bitcoin so you can see uh, our Bitcoin balance here is 1.05, around 57,000. And this is exactly what we accrued in Bitcoin is 0.004 Bitcoin. So that's what the game, this game is all about, just stacking up more Satoshis. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And if we flip over to Ethereum, then you can see here that we stacked up about $33 in um, Ethereum, which is uh, 0.0195 uh, ETH. So what we're gonna do, we're going to remove the 0.5, I mean, I'm sorry, the 0 0.05 to make sure that we're at one, I guess we're under one, right? Um, so we wanna be under one Bitcoin uh, so that we can still receive that 6%. 
So I guess once I get paid this right here, then I'm gonna have even more. I'm gonna have zero five seven nine. Yeah, so I'm gonna have around zero five eight once once this gets deposited. So I'm going to have to um, take out around zero five eight uh, from this account to just to make sure that in April I continue to receive six percent return on my Bitcoin. I don't want it to drop down to 3%. And this is a cool little photo here just so that you can get an idea of what type of impact this has. Um, obviously this is more for whales and for people with that had a lot of um, Bitcoin that they were holding on BlockFi and they were really racking up money, right? Just for holding their Bitcoin there. So, I mean, I understand the top end, but come on, just one Bitcoin, 6% and then everything else at 2% and, and 0.5, like that's a little, overly aggressive i would say they should have left at least a first tier up to 2.5 i don't think there's anything wrong with up to 2.5 and then from there on they could have left uh done you know the two tiers like they did here but so this is how it was before and this is assuming that you have 100 bitcoin here of course um which is insane uh that's five million dollars if you have 100 but there are some people that have 100. So if you have 100 Bitcoin and you're getting on your first two and a half, 6%, which made you around $8,400 a year, then on the rest of it, you're making 3%, which made you around $163,000 per year. So in total, you're making $172,200 yearly, right? That's yearly without doing nothing. This is why the rich stay rich and why you need money to make money because you could do things like this where you just park your money somewhere and collect dividends and just you make more than what the average person makes in a year easy right so i know many households that together with two three four people living in it don't make one hundred and seventy two thousand dollars in a year so um, that's insane. So now they switched over to your first Bitcoin is at 6%. So that'll annually make you around $3,300. And your everything after that is going to earn you 2% up to 20 Bitcoin, which so if you had a uh, 20 Bitcoin in here, you'd be making uh, $21,000 annually. And then beyond 20 Bitcoin, then you'd be getting 0.5%. So that's on the rest of yours. If you had 100 Bitcoin, you'd be making 22,000 on that, which is almost the same thing as as the 19 Bitcoin you're here. So in total, here you would be making $47,000 when before in total you were making $172,000. So where a lot of people are talking about now, there's a, a few different places, but Celsius is one of the spots. Uh, there's I think U Holder, U Holder. There's a uh, Crypto.com. There's a few other spots. So that I'm going to specifically research now. I know Gemini has it as well. I believe Binance has it. So there's a lot of different options now uh, in this space. So I'm going to go ahead and do a thorough some some research and come up with what's the new play, the new spot for earning interest on the crypto that you're holding. And I'll, I, I might even try different uh, platforms out and see which one I prefer best and then I will recommend it to you guys. So as far as the other coins and the other interest that they give on the platform, Litecoin is still, I believe the best crypto that's earning here. Yep. So Litecoin is earning 6.5% uh, interest. If you hold any Litecoin, you could put it in here earn 6.5%. Chainlink is earning 5.5. Pax Gold is earning 5. Then the stable coins are all still at 8.6%, and that's pretty much it. So the only big change here is um, in Bitcoin and Ethereum. I guess they were paying out a lot of money, and uh, they wanted to, um, you know, not pay out a lot of money. So uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave one Bitcoin in here, and I'm thinking of depositing more Ethereum since Ethereum uh, is staying at 5.25% until let's see what's the pers what's the number until 100 ethereum right so basically i could put up to one hundred and seventy thousand dollars in ethereum 
in here and earn a 5.25% return on it. I'm not gonna drop that much money on it, but I will add in some Ethereum for this month to add to you know what I'm making an in interest and hopefully bring that number up. So the goal here is to bring this number up, my interest that I'm getting paid. I wanted to do a thousand dollars, but now uh, I wanted to do a thousand dollars a month, but now because of this switch, it's gonna make it a little bit harder because I was gonna deposit um, two uh, two point twenty five Bitcoin or something. 2.5 Bitcoin is what I was going to deposit in here so I could just get 6% on basically $150,000 in Bitcoin, right? That alone would have put me more or less around, I would say, eight, $800 more or less um, a month passively. And then I would have uh, finished off the other $200 by adding in some Ethereum and that would have put me at $1,000 a month. But now because again, they've changed the interest rates, I can no longer do that. So I'm going to, I'm going to only leave one Bitcoin in here. I'm going to deposit some Ethereum in here and, uh, see if I could at least get this interest to, uh, $500 in this month in April. All right. So I was going to just leave, uh, what I have in here in there, but. I know a lot of you are probably wondering how to move your, you know, your money out of BlockFi. And from my understanding, it takes at least 24 hours to take your money out to withdraw. So I'm going to try it here, at least go through the process and see what that flow looks like um, for anyone trying to do so. Now, if it takes, you know, hours, I'm not going to show the result of it once it does go out, but I'll just show the process of it. So let's go ahead and hit withdraw. So here you have to put basically the amount that you would like to withdraw. So for me, it's going to be that zero five three seven nine one seven three. It says that the fee is waived because uh, BlockFi offers one free withdrawal per month. So your first withdrawal of any month is free. So, hey, that's a good thing, right? Now you can see here that it says all withdrawals are subject to a one business day security hold and are processed by 8 p.m. Eastern on weekdays. So that's one of the, the things that people have been complaining about takes a uh, full 24 hours or maybe more to um, to be able to get a withdrawal. And if you try to do a withdrawal like on a Friday, like I'm doing today, this withdrawal is not going to happen until uh, Monday. So I'm not going to be able to, to record the withdrawal because on Monday I will be out of town. So this, this withdrawal um, is not going to happen till one business day. So that means technically Monday would be the first business day. So that means technically my withdrawal won't go through until Tuesday. I don't know, but yeah, so that's one of the big issues, I guess, with BlockFi, that withdrawal time is very, very annoying for someone to hold your money, you know, your hard earned money. So if you look at the withdrawal terms, you see that you get one free crypto withdrawal per month and one free stable coin withdrawal per month. It says BlockFi is not liable for any typos or mistake in the address. And then it talks about how the withdrawals take, uh, they're held for one day. And then it goes on to say that Bitcoin and Ethereum withdrawals may be subject to up to seven days of withdrawal processing and stablecoin withdrawals may be subject to up to 30 days of processing. So that's insane to have to wait an entire month to take out your stablecoin and wait a whole week to take out to, to remove your Bitcoin. That is crazy to me. So once you come here, just hit new wallet. If you've never entered an address or made an, a wallet before, whoops, basically just paste your wallet there and then just hit review withdrawal. Then of course it's telling you if you provided a wallet, that's not a Bitcoin address, then you're going to lose your funds. Um, and basically you just, uh, confirm this and that's pretty much it. Now, for now, I'm just going to leave my funds in here. There's no point in me withdrawing it today since it won't get taken out to possibly Tuesday. So I'd rather just leave my funds in here uh, to continue earning me some interest. And then next week, I'll go ahead and uh, see what I do 
with the extra funds that I have in here. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this whole uh, BlockFi changing their interest rates things. Are you guys leaving your money in BlockFi or are you guys taking your money elsewhere? If you are taking it elsewhere, where are you guys uh, taking it? Is, is there any other platforms that you guys would like me to review like, um, like crypto.com or Celsius or something like that where you can earn interest? on your uh, Bitcoin, let me know in the comments and I will go ahead and look into those to possibly put some uh, money in there and see how it works out. But that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found a value in this content, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Make sure to turn on the post notification as well. And if you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We love new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you on the next video. As always, peace and love.